Hi, my name's Steve Owen. Um, I've a 24 year technology background. I worked in Philips Semiconductors, which then became NXP Semiconductors. Um, in the last nine years or so, I was uh, running the sales and marketing organization over at NXP. And in uh, November 2022, I left NXP um, and uh, was thinking about uh, what to do next. And then I started um, getting a few phone calls from some companies and I've ended up not quite <laughs> stepping back. So it's a really been an interesting shift for me from um, a sales and marketing background in technology, dealing with pretty much every industry to working now um, in technology backgrounds uh, with uh, a few companies and I'm really excited to be joining Accelera. Good, so Steve, uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, and it's absolutely great that we can speak with you. So um, you recently joined Accelera AI as an advisor and obviously you're a seasoned executive. Uh, you've got extensive experience in the high tech industry. Um, I'm curious, right? So what sparked your interest in the AI sector? and that you made the decision to join Accelera as an advisor? Great question. Um, in the last few years in my previous roles, uh, we started to look at uh, AI, machine learning, and, and how to use algorithms to help us improve quite a number of different areas. Um, one of them was on the administrative side, but the more interesting areas were in, um, in, in the car, where machine learning helps us with the infrastructure and secure edge, secure IoT. Um, but also we were looking at some things in the sales organization where we were trying to understand how customers interact with us as a technology company and try and build a database that is interactive so that we were able to serve 500 customers or so directly, but 50,000 indirectly online. And that's impossible to do that. You don't have enough people you need to then somehow do that online and, and to interact and to give meaningful answers, you've got to be using AI. So the way you do that is to build up the database of question and answer and then start using keyword searches, etc. And we, we built on that. On the technical side, we've been using different things related to microprocessors, which is where then it sparked my interest when I started connecting into people at Accelera to be able to then take it further than just the processing side, more onto the AI and cloud servers, etc. Great. So, and then from your perspective, right? So, what would be the most compelling opportunities and challenges facing startups like Accelera AI in the solution space today, right? So, and, and how do you see Accelera positioned? The biggest challenge for many companies in the AI space is, is what are you going to focus on first? Um, because the, the AI is a pretty generic statement and there's so many different things that you could focus on. When you look at Accelera focusing on the imaging space, um, there's, there's a huge market and a huge market potential there. Um, and then there are other opportunities around machine learning um, for predictive maintenance programs. The medical space is one that's really an exciting opportunity that sort of goes between the two there, imaging. Um, so where you look at things around mammography, x-ray scans and using the images and detecting tumors um, to the predictive maintenance for hospitals. Uh, as well as robotics and, and industrial environments, predictive maintenance can save millions of dollars when you think about the amount of time saved when a breakdown is predicted way ahead. On the imaging side, the, the scope is, is, is endless on, on how you use it for identifying in a commercial or retail environment, but also identification. Um, are these bad players, are these good players? Um, and, and it just goes beyond there. So I think companies like that um, are really going to have fantastic opportunities, but I think the key is the focus um, is really extreme. Don't try to be everything to everyone. It's, it's pick, pick your markets and Accelera uh, is doing that and is concentrating on the imaging 